Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be going through my favourite Christmas films. Now, as you probably know, I love Christmas and there's a lot of films I like to watch at this time of year. So here we go. The first film, which I've already mentioned in my Double December this year, is The Nativity. It stars Martin Freeman, which I think he's a really good actor and everything. And I don't know who else, Mr. Poppy, whoever he is played by. And I just think it's a really good film and I'm sure all the family would like it. It's about like a primary school and them doing like the Christmas play in primary. And it just brings me memories back from when I was in primary school and doing that sort of thing. So I think it's a really good film and I really enjoy it and I've watched it a lot already. So I would recommend this film if you haven't seen it already. The second film that I really enjoy and I imagine lots of other people really enjoy because it's a very popular one is The Grinch. Now, I swear it was called The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, but maybe it is just called The Grinch. But it's by Dr. Seuss. I'm sure it's by Dr. Seuss. But anyway, um, he he's like a bar humbug and he really hates Christmas. So he goes to steal all the presents of everyone in like the little village. But he ends up giving them back because he ends up feeling the true meaning of Christmas or something along those lines. I think this is just a really good film that anyone in the family can watch. It's I don't think it's that long because some Christmas films are like extremely long but this is quite a shortish one and it's just a really really nice film to watch it really gets you in the Christmas spirit it's always on usually I think Christmas Eve to really get you in the Christmas spirit but I watch it all through December because it's a great film and I would really recommend watching this one Oh, by the way, this is the jumper that I mentioned in one of my other videos with the cute little gingerbread man on it. This is my favourite Christmas jumper that I own, so I hope you guys like it. The third film which I really enjoy is Santa Claus the Movie. Now, I mentioned this in my video last week or on Saturday or Sunday or whenever I posted it. And I used to watch it all the time when I was little because it was one of the only Christmas films we had. And it's just a really nice story and it's about, well obviously, Santa Claus and the elves getting all the presents ready for Christmas. And it's just so festive and because obviously it's based on Santa, it's really Christmassy. Um, it's a you, so obviously anyone can watch it. It's quite an old film, not really old, but I think it's 2004, which I, I think that's right, I might be wrong, but 2004, so it's quite oldish, not that old, it's, well, it's younger than me, so it's not that old, but it's an older Christmas film. It's got to be older than 2004. Maybe it's 1985. That can't be right either. Oh, who knows, right? But it's 104 minutes long, so it's just under two hours. And it's about Santa and his reindeers and him taking all the presents to the kids. And it's just a really nice Christmas film to watch with all your family. And it really gets you in the Christmas spirit. And there's snow, which we had the other day, even where I live, when there's no snow. We had snow, which was so exciting. But yeah, you can see more snow on this on this DVD if you really want to see snow that much. But it's a really good DVD and I would recommend watching this one. It was one of my favourites when I was little and I still love it now, but not quite as much as I did then. The fourth Christmas film that I really love is Elf. Now this is a sort of a classic Christmas film. I'm sure pretty much everyone has seen Elf. It's about this elf called Buddy, who is like in the North Pole with Santa and, well I think it's the North Pole, and he finds out that he's not actually an elf. So he goes out to find his real dad and his real parents 
and he sort of gets lost in the city but he ends up getting back to Santa at the end and oh, it's a really nice Christmas film and it's Buddy's played by Will Ferrell and I think it's just a really good one and it's got a little bit of humour, not, it's not like really funny but there's a little bit of humour in there and it's really light hearted and brings all your spirits up and you just can't go wrong with Elf. It's just one of the best Christmas films isn't it? Oh. So you even said it's festive favourite on the packet. Yeah I would, I would definitely watch this one if you haven't already but if you haven't already that's pretty bad because it's a very popular and very festive Christmas film so if you haven't shame on you. <laughs> the fifth Christmas film that I really enjoy is The Christmas Prince. Now this is a new film that came onto Netflix this year and it's sort of what it says in the title it's about a Christmas prince and there's this lady who is a journalist who sort of gets into the palace by faking her identity and works with like the little the little girl or the princess and then she ends up uncovering like the real story about the prince and I won't tell you what happens at the end but I guess you could probably guess by the title but it's a really happy ending and <clears throat> I would really recommend watching that if you haven't already it's quite a like a, it's a very romantic Christmas film so if you're not into those I wouldn't watch it but I really like those ones because it's all cute and Christmassy and it's really nice so if you haven't watched that already and you're into those sorts of films I would definitely watch it but if you're not sure I'd still watch it anyway but it's new this year on Netflix so I'd definitely check it out because I think Netflix films are really good look my forehead's so shiny why? This is what you get for filming after school because you haven't done it beforehand. <sighs> the next Christmas film that I really enjoy, and it's on Netflix as well, is Arthur Christmas. Now I don't have the DVD of this because it's on Netflix, but it's a really good Christmas film and it's for sort of all ages. And it puts like a modern twist on like Santa and his elves because you know like the sort of old fashioned the elves are making the toys and this and that and then they go in the sleigh well this one's more like uh, more modern so they're in like a sort of a spaceship delivering the presents and they're a bit like agents but they're not agents they're elves obviously but it puts a modern twist on it and the the son of Father Christmas is called Arthur and there's this one child who sent him like a postcard letter thing and they almost didn't get the present to her in Christmas so he went on a big trek to get the present to her and then he eventually becomes the new Father Christmas therefore his name is Arthur Christmas but it's such a good film and if you haven't watched it already you definitely should because it's it's even a really nice film just to have on the background just sort of like you don't have to pay fully attention all the time it's one of those you can sort of dip in and out of so I would definitely recommend watching that one it's really good and lots of my friends agreed with me actually another film that I have not seen well two films that I have not seen and people have sort of had a go at me from not seeing them are uh, Home Alone and Frozen. Now Cam in my physics class and my teacher have had a go at me for not seeing this film because they're big fans of Home Alone and they don't think you can like do a Christmas without watching Home Alone but obviously I've been through what 16? 16 Christmases without seeing Home Alone and I'm still enjoying it but I probably think it's a really good film, I mean lots of people rate it very highly and let's be honest I need to watch it and I know I need to watch it but Netflix took it down which is really sad <laughs> but Frozen I was recommended by Liv 
well, there was the big fan whatever on it wasn't there when it came out in 2015, 2014, I don't know. But fans went crazy for it and it's like one of the only Christmas based Disney films. So I'm sure it's really good but I was never really into the hype. So my friend Liv really enjoys it and she watched it the other day. <laughs> So I would probably recommend that one as well, even though I haven't seen it, but it's a Disney film, so it's bound to be pretty good, you know? The final film slash films that I really enjoy at Christmas time, and I watch throughout the year, but I watch especially at Christmas, are the Harry Potters. Now, I love Harry Potter so much, and these are my favorite two. They are The Philosopher's Stone and The Chamber of Secrets. The Chamber of Secrets is by far my favourite, but there's just something about Harry Potter at Christmas that you can't beat. Honestly, like, if I could, I would watch them non-stop throughout Christmas, but, you know, have school and everything, so can't do that. But I've watched at least one, if not two, Harry Potters every Sunday, I want to say. They're just so good, and they put me in such, like, such a good mood. And because these ones are like the light-hearted ones and there's no like Voldemort really appearing they're just really joyful and you can really enjoy them and my friend the other day said what's the point in the story in Chamber of Secrets that's just just couldn't believe what you were saying you know really really hurt me but I definitely think Chamber of Secrets is the best one. And if you agree, comment down below. Or if you don't agree, comment your favourite one below. I'm gonna sneeze. Thank you! Whew. But my favourite films to watch at Christmas are definitely the Harry Potters. And if you haven't seen them, you need to watch them ASAP. And since you get time off at Christmas, there's no better time than to watch all of them. But I definitely watch these at Christmas, along with the other films that I've recommended because they'll get you in a really good Christmas mood and hopefully then you'll have a really good Christmas. So that's it for my favourite Christmas movies in this year's Double December. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below and comment if you enjoyed the video. And if you're not already, make sure you press that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you again soon for more Double December. Bye!